G'day there guys, Elfie here. Um, this is uh, the Minecraft Edgy Mod version 0 0.93, 98, sorry, 0 0.98, and in my hand I have a um, teleport block, and this is also uh, Minecraft 1.1 compatible, or is running Minecraft 1.1, so all the new features that were in 1.1 are in this. Now this is a teleport block, right click to place and you can name them. Um, so top of hill and save it and I forgot to turn myself to creative mode and they're just in the creative inventory um, and now I'm going to go for a bit of a fly over there in the big distance and, and show you how these teleport blocks work um, gives me a good opportunity to show you this new movement speed thing um, if you engage movement speed all the way up um, you actually move really quite fast. Um, so it's a good way of getting places fast. Now I will warn you, you can very easily outrun the servers. You can see I'm about to outrun the server's capability to generate the world. Um, so I might slow down a little bit. Um, this server is actually running off the same machine I am playing on and recording on, so it might get a little bit laggy. As you can see, it's, it is struggling to generate the world quick enough. Um, the school server is unaccessible at the moment. Uh, we're doing some alterations to try and get it working properly. Now, ooh, if you want to walk around, it takes a lot of practice with that movement speed all the way up. So if you want to walk around, I recommend you do that. So I've put a teleport block over there, here, over there somewhere called Top of Hill. I'm going to place another one here called Top of Tree and save that and you can decide here so at the moment this is hidden from students um, so when this if the student manages to find this teleport block here they won't be able to go anywhere if you engage or allow them to see top of hill they will be able to go from the top of the tree back to the top of the hill um, teachers on the other hand if I make this daytime so you guys can see can actually from the build menu teleport to anywhere they want. So if you're in as a teacher you can teleport from anywhere you want. Now before I do a little bit more I'm going to go over here to the to the planes environment over here. I should change my movement speed a bit so that we can get there quicker. So right about here should do us. So I'm going to turn my movement speed back down and I'm going to place another ooh, throw it instead place another teleport block here and call it planes. Now the reason I wanted a third one is to explain something to you. So I just made two stations visible in there and if I walk over it now nothing happens. And the reason I wanted to show you this is if I go to the top of the hill oh, not that, I want to go to it. They've got this new animation now telling you you're teleporting and here's that block. Now in here none of them are visible. Um, so I'm going to make the top of the tree visible and if I walk over this, watch what happens. Okay, so if you've only got one station visible you will teleport to that location. The other reason I placed this one on top of the tree was, and it worked perfectly, was to demonstrate that you don't necessi necessarily teleport right to that block. You can teleport anywhere within a 3x3 three three area of that block. So, ooh, you can teleport anywhere. Is it 3x3? Three three? I think Alexi said it was 3x3. Three three. Or 3, no, it was 3 blocks anywhere out. So you could come out, I'm not sure if it's diamond shaped or straight, but you could come out anywhere in this area like this, is my understanding of it. And that might change. Um, but at this stage, anywhere within three blocks, you can come out. So it might not be diamond shaped like this. It's not even diamond shaped. Missed one. Um, um, you can come out anywhere like that, or it might just be a three by three, literally a three, um, three squares out all the way around and square. Now, something to be careful of is that... These teleport blocks, if you stand on them and there's only one station visible, they will take you to that station. Now, 
if you are less than three blocks above them you will teleport straight away so at the moment I'm four blocks above if I break this block underneath me I will teleport back to the visible one in here which I think is top of the hill alright so straight away as soon as I end up three blocks above that I end up up here at the top of the hill and you can see I'm one two three I teleported three blocks from the from the block itself um, now I want to go out to the plains and you'll see now that if I walk over this it doesn't do anything so to access it I would have to click, right click on it and and choose this choose the place I want to go to um, that's it for teleport blocks really so if you want to use them with students you can control which ones are visible from where and whether you want them to be or if you want them to be automatic so they just teleport you straight to one place you only make one visible so this will take me straight to the top of the hill um, if you want to make it so the students can choose have more than one visible and that will work fine um, the other thing to remember is that you can be teleported anywhere within so anywhere that is three blocks or so away so that's the teleport blocks um, the next thing to show you is the building tools now there is something really good about building tools right now and I've just given you a bit of a sneak peek you can now go through walls or floors or anything um, which as far as finding cool things there you go there's something really cool over there um, is great that looks like a ravine so you can actually find some really cool stuff look there's some diamond um, so it's great for doing a bit of cheating and finding things um, but more importantly it's great for building so instead of having to fly out of the building you've just created you can actually so you just use WAS and D to move around shift and space will go up and down and instead of in being how can I explain this instead of um, W being locked into forward W is actually locked into where your mouse is pointing um, you'll notice down in the bottom corner I can't point at it because my oh, I might, might be able to down here there are three different build modes and I've enabled the third one here in advanced build mode you see one disappears um, so there's advanced build mode there so that's the three new build modes um, you can easily swap between these build modes with left control so if I click click left control it changes my build mode into one with a wire frame um, I can't quite remember oh that's right this is just like horizontal build mode in the previous version so I can place a block in midair there and I can destroy it as well um, the next build mode locks you to a block so I am moving one block at a time in whichever direction I point now this is tied to the WAS and D is front so W is forward S is backwards um, so it's not tied to necessarily to your mouse cursor and shift is down and again no clip so if you're in build mode you get no clip the other cool thing I want to explain is in options here Minecraft Edgy you can either select to have the visual tool on or off you can see I have it selected and the reason is because if I do a fill so if I lock my, I'm locked to the block if I place a block there it shows me what it's going to fill oops sorry wrong button again all right so it shows me what I'm going to fill as I'm as I'm creating it so you'll notice because I was using blue wool um, it defaulted to white wool but if I use something else like lapis block and we do the same thing so I'll lock myself to blocks and first block position oh let's try it actually with lapis so I need to use the numbers to change so you can see that it is showing me what I'm about to fill so for creating structures if you combine the visual fill tool so you get the shape you want with the um, lock to the one block movement um, um, you can see that you can very easily create structures that you want um, 
other new features I showed you in the no clip the all the stations are in the build menu as well as this and of course you've got the undo last fills so I can undo all of those fills I just put on this map with a few clicks um, so that's in the build menu in the user menu you've got that movement speed slider everything else is pretty much the same I would like to point out that if you hover over these you actually get what they mean um, I think this unsticking is about to change name to surfacing um, but you can see up the top there it says when enabled students can teleport to the spawn location and when enabled students can teleport back to service if you are a student when you press assignment you get two buttons down here I might um, get myself out of build mode and explain it to you if I log back in as a student you'll see what I mean now where was the cave there's a cave just there so if I log out and log back in as a student and we'll direct connect as a student alright so I'm in as a student if I press M you can see none of those are enabled so if I go back out and log back in as a teacher and actually enable those so allow student respawning allow student unsticking log back in as a teacher again a student sorry okay so now if I press M you can see I can teleport myself back to spawn or myself back to the surface so if I actually go down here into this little bit of a cave here I am in creative mode so I'm not going to get attacked and if I say oh I'm stuck I can teleport myself back to the surface and it'll take me straight up to the surface and you'll notice that that took me straight up I can't find where the initial cave was is that the initial cave no it's not so I'm not sure how that works out where the surface is whether you just go straight up right up to the surface um, I might have been well underneath I might have been underneath that cave there the other thing I can do is teleport myself back to spawn and again you get that nice teleport thing um, and here I am and I'm pretty sure up the top of this hill up here is that teleportation block could be wrong I might have flown oh, it'll be up on top of that hill missed and I'll show you what students can see when it comes to teleportation blocks there it is so again if I walk over this one because there are two visible it does nothing but if I go to the top of the tree and teleport over this one I must not be in creative if I walk over that straight away it's going to take me back to the top of the hill because that's the only station that's visible in there alright there are a couple of other things and I need to give myself some items okay we're back I now have a build allow block and a information block if I place the build allow block down I can't actually edit it without a build allow block down I hope I get this back I do all right but if I place this information block directly on top of a, a build allow block I can now put some text in here so as a student I can put a heap of text in here and it can be pages and pages and pages of text because they're designed to cope with pages of text now so if I want to choose page 2 and then I can choose page 3 and close it now I'm pretty sure that any student can edit that but if I can't break that if if a student has done their work and you break the block as a teacher underneath that no other student will be able to edit that they'll only be able to read it um, new features I think that's pretty much it um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.